get happy. Yeah. Happy 61st birthday, Steve McMichael. One of the Mongo. anchors on the great 1985 Mongo. Chicago Bears defense, coordinated by Buddy Ryan. In Khalil Mack, the Bears have a throwback defender they'd have been happy to have in 1985. The Bears play New England this Sunday, and Bill Belichick was asked if Mack can be compared to Lawrence Taylor, and Belichick basically said, hold on, Sparky, nobody can be compared to Lawrence Taylor, which somehow leads me to say, happy birthday, Steve McMichael. That wasn't exactly the question. I'm going to be at that game. Name the other three starters on that defensive line. Richard Dent. Dent. Hampton. Richard Dent. Fridge. Richard Dent. Happy anniversary, Michigan State. On this day three years ago, Michigan was 10 seconds away from a sure win when their punter mishandled the snap, leading to a Spartan recovery and return for a touchdown as the clock ran out. That's probably the unluckiest thing that's happened to Jim Harbaugh since coming home to Ann Arbor. They play each other on Saturday, and this year it is Michigan with a higher ranking and gaudier record. But Michigan State may have the best win in the conference this season coming off that loss to Purple. They beat Penn State. Who do you think going to win this game? Michigan. That's what I think. Happy trails to the Marlins home run sculpture. This garish and hideous exploding seven-story sculpture has been deemed offensive by Derek Jeter and will be <laughs> taken out of the stadium and likely stuck in a parking lot someplace. Anyone who appreciates art is happy at this decision. But Derek Jeter has not made a good decision yet. Or do you consider trading Christian Yelich a good decision? Somehow Jer Jeter's track record indicates moving this gargoyle is the wrong way to go. It's the right way to go. It's art. Put it in a museum. It doesn't need to be at a ballpark. Would you consider that Art Deco, which is what Matt yes. Miami is so proud of, yes. Art but, Deco? Yes, put it somewhere where it could be seen by more people than just those 12 to 14 a day. Which that go to that a paid admission in that How about stadium? just put it on a cruise ship and carry it out there? Running out of show, we go to the big finish. Let's Floyd do it. Mayweather tells TMZ that a fight between him and Habib is happening. Do you believe that? For enough money, Floyd Mayweather would fight you and me on this set. We'd take the money, wouldn't we? No. Yeah, you would. Jags owner, so would I. Shag Khan has withdrawn his bid to buy Wembley. You surprised? I am. I'm, maybe that's just a negotiating ploy, but if he doesn't buy that, then the Jaguars are not going to play four no, home games after each year in England. Canelo signed an 11 fight, $365 million deal with the Zone. You like watching Canelo? I do, Tony. This is going to be an interesting development. Maybe Bryce Harper should have his agent contact the Zone. A lot of money. 18 year old Josh Sargent scored as the U.S. tied Peru in a friendly. Are you impressed by that? I didn't watch that. Oh. I was watching the Astros. I oh. still don't understand why they took Dallas Keuchel out of the game. But good luck to Mr. Sargent. Last one, Ryan Tannehill out for the Dolphins. Osweiler was starting against the Lions. Can he do it again? He did it once. He can do it again. Because of how scared the opposing coaches too late in the game. Out of time. Trying to do better the next time. I'm Tony Kornheiser. I'm Mike Wilbon. Same time tomorrow, Knucklehead. You can get the PTI podcast on the ESPN app or Apple Podcast. Bud Giblin, Brian Golden, Kevin Sheehan. Good job out of you. Wherever you got credit. Next on Sports Center, the Spurs, DeMar DeRozan is making one of many debuts in the NBA tonight. But in a fresh topic from PTI, will the Spurs' legendary playoff streak continue or finally end this season? That's ahead. Now on Sports Center, setting the stage for the NBA's full opening night with the.